Welcome to the System Verilog interview question series. This next, next question is going to cover something that you do pretty often in UVM, which is starting sequences. Now, before you get all scared about UVM, uh, let me just tell you that for this particular question, you do not need to know anything about UVM, um, the universal verification methodology. Um, this question does not include the UVM library, but um, for those who are familiar with UVM, it does use some names um, that would sound familiar. So let's go ahead and jump into this question. Um, so for this question, first we have a simple class called MySequencer, and all it does is have an ID. Um, then we have another class called MySequence, and this class has a task, start, uh, which receives uh, MySequencer, and this task will consume time. In the beginning of this task, it will uh, print out a message, and then it, there's going to be a random delay. Um, randomly randomizing is done here and at the end of randomization is going to print out another message um, so next we have a module with an initial block so in this in, in this initial block we have a queue of sequencers of my sequencer and um, we randomize the number of sequencers and then we have a loop that basically pushes a random number of sequencers into this queue so this question has uh, two parts. Um, so the task here is to write some code that will create a new instance of my sequence corresponding to each of the sequencers in this queue. And then for each one of those sequences, it'll call its start task. And uh, the tricks here are is that all of these sequencer sequences must call their star start task simultaneously, meaning simultaneously in time, at time zero. And um, the code must wait until all of the sequences are finished before uh, reaching the end. And we do display the time that the end is reached. Now this particular example here, uh, without the actual code, doesn't really do much. All it does is just reaches the end right away at time zero. So let me show you how a real um, working code would look like. So of course I've got the actual code commented out here so you can work on it. So uh, when I run this example, it's going to run it. And as you can see, uh, you know, a few things happen here. So you can see that we, that we randomly uh, selected uh, three sequencers and they were all started at time zero and you know their delay was randomized so they finished at slightly different times so uh, at time 2000 uh, the sequencer with ID 2 finished and then you know at 4000 everything finished uh, so as mentioned before if you want to do some random behavior all you have to do is uh, specify SVC random and then if you rerun it uh, we should see something different. Uh, so in this case there was actually actually five started and as you can see they're all finished. 